Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to tie a really awesome paracord uh, stopper knot slash lanyard knot. Uh, can be a di really nice decorative knot uh, for a lot of different types of uses, uh, like it on knife lanyards. And uh, this one, unfortunately, doesn't have a really cool name so far. It's known as knot number 785A from the Ashley Book of Knots. So um, yeah, remember if you're looking for where to get paracord, you can check out my affiliate links down below. And that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So to start this one off, I've got my two cords here and I'm going to take the lic licorice cord and just kind of pass it underneath the gray cord, like so, kind of like you're tying your shoelaces. And then with the licorice cord, I'm gonna bring it back in front like so and create a kind of lobe on the left side and then with the gray cord, we're going to bring it behind and just kind of pinch it with my index and thumb like the first one. And that will create a lobe on the right side. Now with the licorice cord, you're going to bring that around the back and have it go through that lobe on the left. And then with the gray cord, have that come in front and go through the lobe on the right like so. So they're both kind of twisting in a sort of counterclockwise direction. Now you're going to continue that direction with the gray cord and it's going to go back around behind and go through the lobe on the left and the licorice cord will continue come in front and go through the lobe on the right. Now from there, I'm going to slightly open up uh, that little opening in between the two cords up top and with the licorice cord, you're going to go in from the bottom and go in between those two gray and uh, licorice cords. And you're going to do the same with the gray cord. You're going to go through that opening from the bottom through to the top. Okay, like so. And now with um, the cords in my hands, I'm going to start pulling on the two strands on both sides. And just slowly try to cinch everything together. And notice how the gray and red are about to come together and touch each other. That's kind of what you're looking for. And slowly cinch up and firm up that knot. And also it doesn't just stop there. Um, if the lanyard is not in the right position, you can adjust the position of this knot by taking up the slack from one side. So as you can see here, I'm pulling on that little corner of the knot, the licorice there. And now I'm pulling more of the excess uh, licorice through. Okay. And then I'm just going to work that through the rest of the knot. So if your knot is not really in the right position on your lanyard, you can take up the slack and move it uh, sort of up your lanyard like so. And same thing with the gray cord. So I kind of look at that corner of the knot there on the opposite side. I'm pulling on it and you can see the slack start to come through. Okay. So it's kind of similar to like when you do that with a diamond knot, you know, you look for that one cord that is connected to the other side and you just kind of pull on it to work the slack through and then you can adjust the position of the knot. All right. And there we have it. There is our knot number 785A. A really great uh, paracord stopper knot that would make for a great lanyard. You can even tie a bunch of these in succession to make a bracelet if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I did this one in two colors just to make it easier for the tutorial. But of course, you can do a single color. I did a nice single color lanyard for my Benchmade proper here. A really awesome knife, by the way. And as you can see, it looks great, especially with that bead above it. Um, awesome combo. But uh, yeah, this is the knot number 785A from the Ashley Book of Knots. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Huge shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, if you guys want access to exclusive tutorials, and uh, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link in the video as well as down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Bye.